You hang up. Who is next? <coughs> Hello? Hello. Yes, Mr. Hello. Ali. How are you, Mr. Ali? Fine. So what do you want to share with us, Mr. Ali? Did you hear what we were talking about? About Allah having fingers, having shin, having hands? What do you think? Basically, I'm neutral on your videos. Uh, and I share Imam Ismail Muslim. You're, you are, ask, you are ashamed of what? No, no, I am a Ismaili Muslim. Ismaili Muslim. Oh, Ismaili Muslim. So you are from the follower of Hassan al Hashash. Uh, Nazari. No, you are a follower of Hassan al Hashash. You know Hassan al Hashash? No. Hmm. Okay, let no, me ask I... you. Let me ask you. You are Ismaili. <clears throat> yes. And what is my really mean before we continue? It's uh, basically from Imam Ismail. What is who is Ismail? <coughs> uh, after Jafar and Sadiq. Who is Jafar Sadiq? He's uh, father, I think. Is hmm. okay, but you don't follow Jafar Sadiq, you follow uh, you, you follow uh, Hassan yeah. Hashash. Yeah. Basically, you, I want you follow wanna, you follow Hassan al Hashash, don't you? No, I want to ask you a question. That hmm. uh, what do you mean? No, what do you mean? No, let, let, let us see. What do, what do you mean? No, uh, isn't it? Isn't it your your leader, Hassan al Hashash, is the one who established the Ismaili sect and he is the one who established the assassin castles? And you are a follower of him, which means you are an assassin. Did you practice any assassin yet? No, no. <laughs> Are you sure? No, the, there's basically other people call us uh, in, in certain way, but not that. What do you mean? You never heard of of uh, of uh, the castle of Hashashin? Yes. The castle of the Hashashin. Hashashin? Yeah, yeah, I hear Hashashin. Okay, so this is your leader. He established a castle. He'd give it drugs for young men. He give them free sex, men and women. They have sex all day and night. And then he he keep them there for six months or ten months or one year, and then at the end of the year he said to a one of the men, "I want you to send you in a mission. You cannot come back unless you kill this person." And this is where the word assassin came from from your religion. You are an Ismaili. Yeah, uh, but I have not read it, so I will continue it uh, in next call. But now I want to ask you uh, a question. Okay, but, but you but you agree? I'm telling the truth, right? That the Hashashin. The word hashish is coming yes. from your from your religion, and the word assassin came from your religion, correct? I think yes. Okay, thank you. That, at least he's honest, guys. He's honest. Okay, go ahead. What is your question? Uh, <clears throat> my question is, uh, uh, like you said in and uh, Shia Mami, like uh, you are talking about that. Uh, what you what your view about Imamat in Ismaili? What is my what? Uh, we've towards uh, imamat which is continuing today until today who what do you mean what what uh, you mean your sect your ismaili sect or different sect yes yes ismaili sect and imamat uh, your is sect your sect is a business sect never was a religion your sect is a business to 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 control and to uh, to seek authority this is why hassan al-hashash established your sect to kill people to be an assassin do you know, huh? do you know about current our imam do you know about yeah, and I know actually your leader now. He lives in Canada, right? He's very rich man, very wealthy, rich, correct? No, uh, not Canada, Portugal. Huh? Okay, but but your but your your prince, the one who is from descendant from Al Hashash, he lives right now in Canada, and he have a big center, and the prime minister welcome him because he's filthy rich. Where the money coming from? All of this from assassin, the assassin business. Uh, uh, actually, I wanna ask you a question, CP. I am your big fan. All right. And uh, I have read uh, Tanakh, uh, <coughs> New Testament, Old Testament, like I am following this. I don't understand. Uh, I am reading New Testament, okay. Old Testament, starting right. about things. So you, are you yeah. thinking? Are you thinking to leave Islam, my friend? No, no, no. <laughs> Why not? No, right. Why not? You want to stay in the in the assassin religion? Do you want to follow assassin? Do you think a criminal he is a, he have a religion? He's assassin. You no, agreed. No. You agreed. 
You agreed he sent people to kill. He gave them drugs, right? You agreed. Let's. Uh, he gave them drugs. He gave them women, naked women for sex, slave women. He kidnapped women. He put them in his castle. He bring young men. He says, sleep with them, drink with them, have sex with them, drink wine as much as you want, eat as much you want. Until one day they became addicted to sex and drugs. And then he bring you and he says, listen, you cannot come back here to my heaven unless you kill this king for me because he did not pay me money. He sent a letter to the king says, you have three days to give me 50,000 piece of gold. If the king did not pay him, he will send one of his followers to kill the king. Is that correct? And uh, CV? Hmm. My name is CP, uh, must not CV. Uh, yes, CP, mm -hmm. I will study it and then I will again <coughs> call you and talk to you. Okay. All right, no problem, my friend. No problem. Now I want uh, uh, I want to tell you that uh, mm -hmm. Christianity is a good religion and I learned about that. Mm -hmm. uh, like Genesis, Matthew, chapter, Revelation, all is good. What? What? Uh, well, I want to ask you a question that hmm. uh, is there Hebrew Bible today existed? Yeah, sure. The Bible, the, the Old Testament is written in Hebrew and Aramaic, and the New Testament is written in Aramaic and he Hebrew and Greek. And by the way, there's uh, there's more languages actually, but those are those are the major. The rest as the rest are translation. Oh, okay. Hmm. Now, uh, where it is the uh, world today? It's all over. You can go and you can you can download them from the internet. Actually, they are available. You can download the Aramaic one. You can download the Greek one. You can download the Hebrew one. They are the oh, same okay. as they are exactly as you you know written in the uh, you know the original scripture. Yeah, I like Hebrew Arabic language too. All right. Uh, where are you from, uh, my friend? Originally uh, from Pakistan. Pakistan. Okay, you welcome. You sound a nice guy. Don't don't be offended by the way I speak to you, but this is how the, the, like I like to investigate thing. There's nothing personal, no, right? It's no problem. I am a learner. I like to learn from people. All right, my friend. Well, thank you very much for calling, and feel free to call me again if you have any any uh, anything you want to say. Last, I want to ask you a question. Hmm. Um, uh, is it possible uh, that wearing a prayer shawl? Is permissible in Christianity? Wearing what? A prayer shawl, which Jesus also wear. Well, I don't know what, what does that mean. What, what what does that mean? Prayer, prayer what? Prayer, sh prayer shawl, shawl. I don't know what is this. What prayer shawl? I never heard this word before. <laughs> a cloth, a long cloth, white colored cloth. I mean, my friend, your your clothes is not important. You know, you see, Jesus, he taught us that it is what you say not what you eat or what you wear uh, will make will make you a better person for sure you don't go naked but i mean uh, but uh, the clothes is not what make you i mean you see most times they focus in things which is silly as an example is it okay for me to drink um pepsi cola is it okay for me to drink to eat icy cream because this is made by the kuffar i mean those are silly because this religion islam is a silly religion in Christianity, we focus on what is important. What is important is your fruits, what come from your mouth and what you do with your hands, what you think in your brain and what you see with your eyes. So Jesus don't focus in, in, in things which is silly. You know, let us say I'm a person who wear clothes, let us say I look like a crazy when I wear them, but I'm a nice person. I love everybody. I never harm anyone. I never lie. I never kill. I never commit adultery. I mean, that's this is better than someone who wear the most beautiful clothes. Do you agree? Yes. Okay. What does have to do with you being good or being bad? Wear clothes. You know, wear clothes. The clothes is meant to cover you from cold, from heat, and to cover your private parts. Wear whatever you want, but it's not what you wear. It's not what you call yourself. It's not what you eat will make you better. It's what you do, what you say, what you practice, and what you believe. Uh, and last uh, question is that uh, there are two many things also written in Quran is very uh, is good, good, and some are, some are good, some are uh, like uh, contradicting. I don't understand. It. No, my friend, in the Quran there's nothing good. Let, let me let me tell you as an example the Quran. 
says you know to be nice to your parents correct yes but this is not good let me tell you why because the Quran the same Quran says in chapter 9 verse number 23 you cannot friend your parents if they are not Muslims so how I can be friend how I can be nice to them so Muhammad here he made a condition to be nice to them if they are believers because you cannot friend them if they are disbelievers uh, okay. Jesus he said if you don't hate your family and love me you don't belong to me but doesn't mean he you hate your family how he mean if you love the world all the world your family your children your money your house more than me you don't belong to me this is not about hate but in Islam literally you cannot befriend your family if they are disbelievers chapter 9 verse number 23 and you can check it out but uh, <coughs> like in Quran saying if you kill one people it is equal to uh, no, no my friend the, no, also, uh, no no this is not even a verse for the Muslim this was a verse given to Moses even the Quran come from that it was says to Moses if you kill one innocent man as if you killed all mankind this is not for the Muslim secondly the innocent man in Islam is somebody is a Muslim which means if you kill a Muslim as if you killed all Muslim all mankind but if you kill a Christian or a Hindu or a Jew it's okay you know you can read the interpretation I'm not lying to you my friend uh, okay you know yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah let me show you what Muslim there is many lies Muslim they say and many Muslim they repeat the lie without knowing as an example actually uh, as you know uh, if I am a smiley that means a uh, little bit uh, we don't li like uh, rely on hadith the uh, unauthentic hadith hmm. some of them well I agree with you actually the Ismaili they are not even considered Muslim by Muslims the, the Ismaili the Muslims they hate them actually and yeah. even, even the Ismaili they took a side with the crusade during the war with Muslims this is something maybe most of people do not know yeah they accused us yeah the, 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 the Ismaili they fought side by side with the crusade against the Muslims this is history but, uh, but as you know that uh, we integrate in into every society like we if we live in England we integrate into English society is it not good sorry uh, like we integrate into societies in uh, we acting as minorities like if we are loyal to every country we live in is it not good it's mean you merge in a society in a new society yeah, yeah like we are not chanting is protesting in the streets like others well Ismaili actually uh, I wish all the Muslims are Ismaili because Ismaili are different Ismaili are modern people and they are not really they don't really believe in Islam Ismaili it's it's different it is not um, it's a modern you know let's we say, believe, hmm? no we believe, no we believe uh, we are uh, we are like uh, as you know it's, it's, Salam means peace, as you know, and we are uh, uh, showing real peace, integrating into societies like we are not living in a stone age, as you know. I understand, but still, this is not because of Islam. This is because your sect is not even Islamic. Your sect is born of Islam, coming from the Islamic Shia sect, but you are far away from Islam, really. You have nothing to do with Islam. You know, you are a Muslim by name. You call yourself Muslim as an Ismaili, but the fact you have nothing to do with Islam. As an example, Ismaili girls, they don't wear hijab, right? Uh, no, no. We follow culture. If English culture uh, have I know, no I know, job, but I know, I know, but I know Ismaili. They don't really, they don't care for religion. I know Ismaili. They drink vodka more than drink water. Like we take. I, I, I used, to, I, I used to have Ismaili friends. Who, 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 like we used to go to their houses study together I have a water next to me he have a vodka next to him they don't even drink water they drink vodka so yeah. Ismaili have nothing to do with anything with Islam they eat pork they make fun of the Quran they make fun of the prayer they make fun of Muhammad they are far away from what it's called Islam so uh, I think I think it's little bit 50 50 no it's not no, no not 50 50 you have nothing to do do you pray do you pray? You don't. We you don't. We times three times a prayer. You do what? We pray three times a day. You you pray three times a day? 
I never oh, saw listen. I never saw somebody in Ismaili he pray all my life. Never. Yeah. We dua, we do dua. The, the, the mosque of the Ismaili is empty. The only time they use it if there is a funeral. <clears throat> and you I'm, I'm sure you know that, right? Nobody go to the mosque. They go only if there's a funeral. Yeah. Okay. So what, what do you mean you pray? No, you don't pray. You don't fast Ramadan. You don't pray. You don't do anything. Uh, I think, uh, like, uh, we helping poor. If uh, uh, what if we have no enough money to go to Hajj, instead of that money we help poor. No, you don't go to Hajj too. Anyway, my friend, you are welcome. You are you are, you are a nice person. And, Last, and one uh, uh, yeah, go ahead. What one more time? Okay, what one more thing? What is that? Uh, will you translate these videos into Indonesian or other languages? Translate what my videos into Indonesian? Well, I do not language. know. I don't speak other languages, my friend. So those, uh, if somebody, if you want to do that, feel free. You can take my videos, download, you know, download them, and translate them to your language. Uh, but uh, okay, nice to meet you. <laughs> All right, my friend. Listen before you go. If you have any question about Christianity and you like, you know, you know, I feel like you are a person. Uh, I, this is what I feel. I'm not sure if I'm right, uh, but I feel that you have a good heart, and maybe you like to be really interested to accept the Messiah as your savior. So, if you like me to help you in that, even I can talk to you in private, not necessarily on air. If you are not uh, comfortable to to speak on air. I will help okay, you. I will teach you, and I will answer your question about the Bible. If you like to be to accept the Messiah, I will be happy to help you, my friend. Uh, I want to sing Hallelujah here. Can I? Oh, absolutely. Go ahead. You want, guys, you want to sing Hallelujah? Go ahead. I heard there was a secret God that David played to please the Lord. Hallelujah. Actually, there's my third song. <laughs> Wonderful. Go ahead. Continue. Wonderful. I forward the lyrics. <laughs> Hallelujah, my friend. You see, you you already, your heart is coming to the Lord and you do not know it. This is why you like the song and you're asking me to sing it. So why don't take what? advantage of that and you accept the Messiah to be your savior, my friend? Actually, I will study, I will proper study it, every religion, then I will... Uh, but my, my friend uh, Christ is not a religion Christ is a life Christ is not a religion Christ is a way it is the truth it is the light it is the you know the, the only salvation you have this is not a religion there's many religions all but, religions uh, are false I want to ask you another question <laughs> that many uh, many people have uh, I think it's misconception or belief that uh, that actually making fun of that that your God born from uh, Mary, is it true? Make make fun of what? That your God uh, was born from a human Mary. Yeah, the, the most time they make fun that how God he is born of Mary. What do you think about that yourself? Um, what I believe, I will tell you. Hmm. Let me tell you what something. According if, to me, uh, according hmm. to me. Before Jesus, God was Elohim. Is it right? Right. Elohim. Hmm. Then um, God entered into Jesus' human body. Is okay. it right? I, I'm, I'm, you are making it in a simple way. Okay, that's good. Let us go. Uh, I understand all these things, but uh, but in on the cross, Jesus said. In Hebrew, Lama la, Eli Eli Lama Sabachthani, which mm -hmm. means, Father, why have you forsaken me? Why Jesus said that? He is quoting from the Old Testament a prophecy about him. This is why after that he said it's complete. So in the Old Testament, it's mentioned that this is exactly what would happen to Jesus in the cross. So Jesus here is reminding us that everything mentioned about prophecy about him is complete. He is quoting a prophecy about him. It's like, you know, something happened to me and there is a prophecy about me happen. So now I quote it for you to remind you what is been said about me is true. Okay. 
but uh, actually uh, i want to learn about more more about father son and holy spirit that all three yeah, that's very easy actually very simple uh, christianity is not really hard to understand as but maybe if you sometime you listen to christian sometime christian they make it complicated but it's very simple let me ask you my friend ali do you believe that god can do whatever he wish yeah okay it's can, can god come as a, can god come as a man or he cannot but if uh, being a muslim as you know uh, no, no, we but, cannot but, but no that's another question you I, you just told me that god he can do whatever he want right yeah that's why we call him almighty why we call him almighty because he can do he can do anything right yeah, yeah, yeah. you are not almighty i am not almighty because we cannot do everything we wish yeah as i have once uh read in the quran that burning uh, uh moses and go talk with moses from burning bush bushes hmm. The same God, God, can God he can 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 appear, you know, can appear in a in a in any form he want. He can he can speak to you from the fire. Even the Quran says that, you know. Yeah. But the Muslims ignoring the facts. You see, yeah, if yeah. God cannot be something he went he want to be, it's mean he cannot be God. That's why we call him but Almighty. The... If God he want to be appear to me as a bird. Yeah. Okay, who is going to stop God? Like, is it because of me? I don't like that. I say, no, no, you cannot be that. God is bigger than this. God is greater than this. Who are you? God, he decides what he wants. He's almighty. And if God, he appeared to us in any form, that would not make him not holy. As an example, the Muslim, they say that Jibreel came to Muhammad in a form of a man. Is that correct? Uh, I never heard that. Sorry. Well, don't you know about Jibreel? He came to Muhammad and he squeezed him three times. Uh, I think I will study it. Hmm. But anyway, Jibreel, he came to Muhammad as a man. Jibreel came to Mary. If you go to chapter 19, the Spirit of Allah, according to Muslim, this is Jibreel, came to Mary and appeared to her as a perfect man. Okay, now, that man who appeared to Mary, is he a perfect man and still he is an angel or he's not an angel no more? The Muslim, they would say he's still an angel. So why hmm. God cannot be a man and God in the same time? God can do anything. Yeah, you're See? right. Okay, so here we, we have some hypocrisy with the Muslims. Anyway, my friend, thank you very much for oh, calling. Yeah. Happy you. Christmas. Yeah, the Christmas is still early, but thank you very much for being kind and calling me uh, anytime, Ali. But please advise it to all the children that on the Christmas specifically, don't wait for, wait for Santa, but wait for Christ. Absolutely. Thank you very much. That's beautiful of you to say. Thank you. That's wonderful. Because as you know, as you know, in liberal uh, nowadays, liberal countries, uh, European countries, falling into a paganism. Mm. The uh, children the way, instead. But by the way, San Santa Claus is a real person. Is not a fake. Is not fiction. Santa Claus. Yeah, it's it's real. But uh, as you know, because it's about Christ, so we can prefer right. Christ first. Right. But uh, but anyway, even Santa Claus is about Christ because he was making children happy, and Christ, he always taught us to be to be the same as the Christian to take care Plus, of us because I noticed that many children no didn't know that this it's the birth date of Christ yeah well this is not about actually you see it's not about the birth date of Christ there's nothing it's called birth date of anyone because the Christ is exists before his birth Jesus said yeah. before Abraham I am so there's nothing it's called birth because God is exist before he was born this is the form he born as a man but he's exist from before so god is eternal he is the beginning he's the end and every day is the day of christ for us as a christians but i agree with you that some people they became uh, it became commercial more than it is a christian occasion but for us as a christian we should keep it as a christian occasion far away from paganism and money right uh, okay, okay, CP. All right, bless you. Take care. God bless. I will next time call you and then we will debate. Sure. Oh, you will debate. Okay. <laughs> okay, take care, my friend. Bye bye. Bye. -bye. Okay.